So we're going to start by just chopping up some shallot. And I like the shallot because it's mild, so I think it'll be really nice with the chicken. And these are potent shallots, very fresh. I'm going to start zesting an orange. So I'm going to have two oranges and three lemons I'm zesting in here. I want it really citrusy. Now. I need to add some fresh herbs. I like adding fresh herbs. It adds a lot of flavor, so some mint and some thyme. And the mint is nice and clean and fresh, and the thyme is actually quite lemony, a little bit more hearty. So between the two, it's gonna add lots of flavor and kind of make it a little exotic too. Really fun and exotic and clean tasting. It's gonna be underneath the skin and inside the cavity. It's gonna really flavor the chicken a lot. So it's funny how easy it is to flavor things. You know, just a few fresh herbs, some orange and lemon zest, and you're done. It's really easy. Olive oil, just so everything kind of sticks to the game hen. And salt and pepper. Got to season it. There we go. So now, I just want to mix this all together. We'll rub it all over the game hen, inside, outside, everywhere. So when it cooks, it just sucks up and absorbs all the flavors that we've put into this wet rub. Perfect. I'm just gonna rub these guys down with a bunch of the rub. About like two scoops per game hen. And just kind of rub it all the way through inside the cavity. You wanna throw some in there. Just like you would with a turkey, you know how you rub it with all of the um, seasoning and you put it in the cavity? Same thing with the chicken. And let's do the second one. You could even do this earlier in the day if you wanted to and let it sit for a couple of hours in the fridge and just kind of rub it in there, massage it. So now we need chicken stock to keep it nice and moist because we're gonna roast it at 450 degrees, which is a pretty high heat. So we wanna create a nice sauce. And later on we'll thicken the sauce because Todd loves his sauce and he loves his gravy. So about two cups of chicken stock and to give it a nice Italian flavor, an Italian flair, some Marsala wine, just a couple tablespoons of Marsala wine. Slightly sweet. It just adds a little bit of, you know, of a kick to the flavor. And some cranberries. Now you might think it's weird that I'm adding some cranberries, but I love the color. Okay. Couple more things. I'm gonna take an orange. And just need a couple tablespoons. So depending on how juicy the orange is, you might need a whole orange or half. And I think this one's pretty juicy, so we're only gonna need half an orange in here. And we also need lemon. And it's two tablespoons of lemon, too. But because lemons are smaller, we're gonna use a whole lemon. We're gonna juice the entire thing. Now, I wanna show you something. To keep them nice and pretty and make sure that they cook evenly, I'm gonna truss them. So you take some kitchen twine. So just take the two legs and just wrap them around. And it doesn't flavor it, it doesn't do anything. You don't even know it's there. It just keeps it looking nice. So we're gonna roast them at 450 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes until they're nice and golden brown on top and the skin's nice and crispy. 